In this video, we're going to continue our exploration of the many ways that Acrobat provides for us to enhance our PDF documents and to really guide the user through our content. We're looking at the file CFO Newsletter Final.pdf. Within this document, we see a problem that plagues many readers of electronic documents. You've seen this before in newspapers and magazines. You have an article, and it ends abruptly, and it's continued on another page. In this case, continued on page 3. We have to scroll down to page 3, and we have to find the article. We continue reading it, and we get to the end, or maybe even to another reference that it's continued on yet another page. Then, at the end, we have to remember where we started and navigate back to the starting point so we can continue reading the rest of the document. This is much easier if you're reading hard copy, but it can be annoying and distracting when you're reading an electronic document. Within Acrobat, we have the ability to define articles that actually guide the user. This document, CFO Newsletter Final, already has articles built in. When a document has an article in it, and you hover the hand cursor over the article, you can see the cursor change to a hand containing a downward pointing arrow. This tells you that you have an article, and when you click, it will zoom you right into that article. Notice that the cursor continues to show us the down arrow, and as you click, it will walk you through the article. Down one column, down the next column. It continues on to the subsequent sections, in this case on page 3, and continues walking you through. And finally, when you reach the end of the article, the cursor changes, and the arrow in the hand has a small bar at the bottom. This indicates you've reached the end of the article. When you click this time, it takes you back to your original view. You can also see what articles are available by opening the Articles panel in the Navigation pane. If we right-click or control-click on the Mac in the Navigation pane, we can select Articles. We can see here that we have two articles contained within this document. We can begin reading these articles simply by double-clicking on the article in the navigation pane. You can see that the icon in the Articles panel changes to an arrow. This indicates that we are currently reading that article. We can continue clicking through, and when we finish, once again, it takes us back to the place that we started, even if we were somewhere else in the document when we clicked on that article. We can see this by clicking on the second article, which actually will jump us from our current page 1 to page 3. We'll click through this article, and when we're done, it returns us back to page 1, which is where we were when we clicked on the article. Now how convenient is that? So let's take a look at how we create these articles. We'll close this panel by clicking on the left arrows, and close this document. We'll open CFO newsletter.pdf, and this is the before version of this document without articles. We'll create the articles now. In order to do that, we'll need to open the Tools pane, and we'll need to open the Document Processing category. Now, if you've turned this category off and you don't see it, remember to click this icon in the upper right corner and choose Document Processing by enabling the check mark here. We'll open the Document Processing category and we can see the Add Article Box tool with the threaded arrow icon. If we choose that and hover our cursor over the document, it becomes a crosshair. What we're going to do is drag a rectangle that defines the area of the article, and this will represent a zoom window for the user. When we've defined the area of the article and let go of the mouse button, we notice several things happen. There's a black rectangle defining the boundary of the article, and it has resize handles at the corners and sides. At the top is a flag labeled 1-1, which means Article 1, Part 1. At the bottom, it has a plus flag that we'll use later to be able to continue an existing article. Once we've defined the first section of our article, the cursor changes to the frame and article threading cursor, and we're ready to define the next section of the article. So we'll just click and drag in the next column here, and now we can see when we let go that this is Article 1, Part 2. At this point, we'll need to go down to page 3, where this article is continued, 
and we can click and drag areas to define the continuation of that article. So here we have Article 1, Part 3, and Article 1, Part 4. When we're done defining the article, we can press the Enter key to finish, and this brings up the Article Properties dialog box. We can give our article a title. We'll call this Beach Nesting Birds, and that is what will show up in the Articles pane. We can add a subject, author, and keywords, but we'll leave those sections blank for this demonstration. When we click on OK, the article is created, and we can see it by opening the Articles pane on the left. Remember to right-click in the Navigation pane and choose Articles if it isn't already visible. We can see here Beach Nesting Birds, our article. Now we can test this out by switching to the Hand tool. Hover the cursor over the article, and notice that the cursor changes to the downward pointing arrow on top of the Hand icon. We can click, and it will take us into the article. When we get to the bottom of the second column, we click, and it takes us over to page 3 for the continuation. Once we reach the end, we see the cursor with the bar at the bottom of the arrow, and that tells us that we've reached the end of the article. Clicking once more takes us back to our initial view. While we have the Articles panel open, it's worthwhile to look at the options that are available in this panel. There aren't very many. Right here we have the Options icon, and we can hide after use. This will collapse the Articles panel into the sidebar when we use this panel to read an article, either by double-clicking the article as we just saw, or by using the next option, which is Read Article. This reads the selected article. We can delete and rename from here as well, and if we choose Properties, we get the Article Properties dialog that we saw when we first created the article. So we've created an article. We can create a second article, and it doesn't even have to have multiple parts. For example, we can go back here to the Tools pane and click the Add Article box tool, and we can drag over just this blue sidebar on page 3. We'll press Enter because this is our entire article, and we get the Article Properties dialog once again. We'll give this the title U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and we'll click on OK. When we go back to the Hand tool and select this article, we can see it zoom in. As we click, it walks us nicely down the column, and when we reach the bottom, it takes us back to the full page view where we started. So even though we only have one section in the article, it still handles zooming in, navigating down the column, and zooming back for us. Again, this is quite convenient. We can edit our articles after the fact as well. We edit them by once again clicking on the Add Article Box tool. We can select any one of these by clicking its label at the top. Once you've selected the article, you can grab the corner handles and resize and reposition, and you can also click on the plus flag to continue this article. When we do, the cursor changes once again to the Continuation tool as we saw before, and we're ready to drag out the next section of this article. We can even go backwards. In this case, from page 3, we'll go up to page 2, and continue this article up here in this blue sidebar. When we release the mouse button, we see that this is now 2-2, Article 2, Part 2, and we'll press Enter to finish adding the sections, and we're done editing that article. We can also modify an existing article to remove a section. For example, here we'll choose Section 1-3, and while we have it selected, we can simply press the Delete key, and we'll get this prompt. Do you want to delete just this box, or the entire article? We'll choose just this box, and that leaves us with only three sections instead of four in this article. Notice that the fourth section is still part of Article 1, and it's connected, but now it's Part 3. We could even take this box and drag it to the left to resize it, and make this entire section the third part. Now we can test this by going back to the Hand tool and returning to page 1 and clicking in the article and navigating through. When we get to the section on page 3, we see both columns together as we would expect by the way we defined it. So articles can be an excellent way of enhancing the user's experience by making it easier for them to read our documents so that the navigation doesn't become a distraction 
and the content has our reader's full and complete focus.